Hi everyone and welcome to my place. When I was a child, my aunts were very, very clever with how they did arrangements that would last for ages and ages and ages. Mind you, they were busy girls, they worked on farms and they also had to look after me because I was such a pleasant child. Actually, that's not the truth. My mother had three children under three and I might have been a little bit difficult to cope with. But anyway, I'm very blessed that I had those great aunts because they taught me lots of things. Now, not too long ago, I was having a clean out of one of my aunts um, sheds, long story, but I won't get into it. And I found this basket. Now, this took pride of place on my great aunt's dining table. And it was, as a child, I remember breadsticks coming in. And this is what she used to keep her bread, her French breadstick in. And when I saw it, it just instantly drew me back to a design that my aunts used to do. And I thought, oh my goodness, I've got to bring that back into the 21st century and share it with people. It's really easy to put together. So I've got this lovely wicker basket and I've lined it with some plastic obvious reasons why, because I've put some wet foam into there. I've got two pieces of flax and I've also got some Lily of the Valley, which I love this Lily of the Valley. And I actually love the colourway and how it sort of like lends and blends into the texture or the um, tonal values of the wicker. And the flax is going to go nice with it. And I really love these loops. And these are what I call winter's little hidden jewels or gems. You don't really know that they're there, but they are there when you go looking for them. They're fabulous flowers because they do, well, some wouldn't call them a flower, but I do because it looks like a little flower. The great thing with these is that they last for ages and ages. Right, to begin, very, very easy. I'm just going to make, because this is what my aunts used to do, a little flax bow just by getting your flax and turning it over like so and then bringing those together so that you've got this lovely little bow. Look at that. Perfect. And then getting a piece of wire. And then, oh, I learned how this skill right from an early age. And then bringing those bits together like so. I need to wind that around there like that. And then just bringing that out so you've got this nice little bow, just like a bow tie. Cut those ends that you don't need off. And I'm just going to push that into there like so I could squish, I'm going to squish that up a bit. Right, I've got the pierce here, which I've cut to all about the same length. That's what about? four inches I suppose and I'm just going to put that at either ends so imagine that there's a line running through there and what you do at one end you put the, do you, like a mirror that's running through there or that imaginary line and what you do at one side you do at the other so a couple of bits into there a couple of bits into there bring a piece into there another piece into there and then I'll bring that into there and that's a little bit not quite as fat as I wanted, so I'm just going to put that into there. Right, cutting all of your loops on an angle and about round about the same size as the Paris or the Lily of the Valley. Strip the leaves so that you've got a nice clean little spike that they are like a dart that you can just insert your flower. So I'm going to go one to the middle and I'm going to put, oops, one fell off, the biggest ones into there, taking that to there. And then I'll bring another one into there. And then just running these on either side. I love these easy designs. And I also really, really love the fact that this design, although I saw it when I was in the 60s, can come back to the 21st century. So, and I'll just put one more into there. Look at that. Fantastic, easy to put together. That will last for ages and ages. It's, you can either view it from one side or both sides. I'm not really happy with that though, but we can fix that. I'd like another one on the other side, but this is gonna sit on my sideboard and it'll be just fantastic. But these designs of the past, those girls were really clever. And I just love that it will last a long time. And then the other little thing that I do, knowing that it is going to last a long time, when it comes to Christmas, if I'm really, really push, what I will do is I'll just miss that with a little bit of gold. Replace the, the flax bow with a, a gold bow and then put some baubles through that and that will be really quick and easy should I be cut short as we celebrate Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another day.